Welcome to Local Rock Talk. I'm host Paul Grilly, aka Pauza. Please welcome Matt. Hello. Hello. <laughs> welcome on the show. Excited to be here, Pauza. That's right. Okay, now let's get to some questions. Ready? I'm ready. I think. <laughs> You'll find out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, one question. How long you have been doing music? Oh, boy. Uh, I started playing piano when I was seven years old about. I think it was like first grade. My father played piano, and then in high school, I grew a mullet playing baseball, started listening to like Winger, Slaughter, stuff like that, and I uh, bought a guitar, never played piano much after that, and I went to UMass Amherst. I was in a couple bands here and there, and then in UMass I was in a band, and I really thought it was good. I dropped out of college to be in it, and it didn't work out, but still listening to the recordings, it was a really good band. I learned the hard way, though, and now I play in Mudflap Junior Jones, if I play solo, my friend called me Scratch Master Flap, and I thought it was funny, so I have a SoundCloud Scratch Master Flap. If anyone wants to check it out, it's on SoundCloud. And so, yeah, so I'm 48 years old. What's that, 41 years? It's so scary. I feel young, but I'm not young, man. That's a long time to be doing something. But, yeah, I hope I don't sound terrible. You'd be like, well, he's not been doing <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I have a, uh, another question. It's about me and you. How me and you know each other? Andinos. Maybe before Andinos, but I remember Andinos because I used to bring you home with a cheese pizza because I was delivering pizza. Now Spaziano's. Yeah, I know. Um, before that, was did I know you before? I have a bad memory. Yeah. I, I think it was Andino's, I think. And then it was Alex and Liz after that. Yeah. And I just, you've always been at the chit-chat shows and always around and on your bike. You're the Haverhill legend riding around. Everyone knows Paul's there. Yeah, after what happened to me last year. I know. Good thing you're doing so much better now. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay, um, I right, have another question. Why do you write and perform music? Why? I like music. I mean, everything is art. So music is art, and people think it like a painting is art, but music is art, and I like everything from the Beatles songwriting. I really like G Love and Special Sauce and Cake, Soul Coughing are some bands I really like. But every single band that I like is the type of band where if they came out with a new song, I'd be like, oh, that's so and so, and I'd know because it's how they sound. Like if Guns N' Roses came out with a new song, it'd be like, Rawr! that's Axel, you know? Yeah. So I like to try to have my own kind of flavor to stuff that I write. I'm not a good singer, I don't, I, and I know people who sing. I'm getting better from practice, but most of my stuff is just kind of jokey lyrics, but I put a lot of work into the guitar. That's good. So that's basically, I try to have my own guitar sound is probably why. Yeah. Plus, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, when you play a show, especially with other people, it's you see how much fun they have it on stage. I love doing it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I have an awesome, I have an awesome question for you. What, what you think of my local rock talk bike display? This one right here is, it, it's like, 
almost like Christmas with the lights. You got the kiss sticker, the lightning belt. It's awesome. The beads like Mardi Gras. It, yeah. It's a nice presentation. I know I'm kind of in the way, but it it definitely is. Screams oh, yeah. Palza for sure. Oh, I love yeah. the bike. The colors are great. Well, someone I know who does Clean Ripper Project named Rocky, he made up bike, my bike that way. It looks great. Oh, yeah. He did a good job on it. The yellow really stands out. Yeah, because he cleans the rivers out, then he takes the bikes out of the rivers, then he cleans them, then that she make he makes a displays out of it. So that's what he does. But that was my bike. So no, that's, I, that's the retirement one for mine. It looks great. It's the first thing I saw when I walked in. Thank you. Okay, so that's good. Cause that bike came out awesome. Okay, do you have social medias? So Mudflap Junior Jones, if you just Google it, a bunch of stuff comes up. But we have a Facebook page, but we don't really play much. I've been starting to go out and do some solo stuff under Scratch Master Flap. That's F-L-A-P, like Mud Flap Junior Jones, the Scratch Master Flap. It's a joke. I thought it was funny, but um, there's a couple songs with like 200 plays on SoundCloud. So it's like a journal for me. So between, I keep my Facebook just for I friends, but on the Mud Flap Junior Jones Facebook page, um, once in a while, I'll post something, but my drummer lives in Raymond, New Hampshire. My bassist lives in Attleboro, down by Rhode Island. So if we ever play a show, it's a lot of work. Um, but I've been getting out in public. I got the permit to play outside. So hopefully I've been waiting for it not to rain on the day off. But yeah, I know. Sorry, did I answer your question? I got rambling. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be, we'll be human, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played outside for two hours on the art walk across from Peddler's Daughter. I didn't even sing one word. I just played my, that's why I asked if you wanted the electric or acoustic. Yeah. With the electric, you can just doodle around and people walk by. It's fun. That's cool. All right. What? That's a good question I asked you. That's good enough. Yeah, that's cool. Now you can play your tunes. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk. So until next time, keep rocking. Keep rocking. Hello, my name is Matt Pocket. I sing and play guitar in Mudflop Junior Jones, which is a band that doesn't do much anymore, but I've been starting to play out as Scratch Master Flap, which is my friend's joke, and I think it's funny. There's a SoundCloud for it if you want to check it out. This is my first song. I'm from Haverhill, grew up in Bradford. It's about the Bradford ski area. It's called The Ballad of Mount Bradford. Bradford is the premier ski resort of the northeastern by resort. I mean, you can't always stay at the comfort suites. The trails are all named after all different kinds of bees. Just be careful on the sides, cause you could end up in the trees. To warm up and to eat some stuff The chicken fingers are all fresh With coke and fries, I've had enough But if you wanna run That lasts longer than a punk song Don't come to Bradford Go to Sunday River all day long
you come into the lush you warm up and to eat some stuff the chicken fingers are all fresh with coke and fries i've had enough but if you want to run that lasts longer than a punk song don't come to bradford go to sunday river all day long True story about the Bradford ski area. I kind of sang the second verse twice instead of the come back to the first verse. But it's kind of hard to get rolling. I had a long day just to get start playing music. But this is another one off. Well, not another one, but this is off. Our first album is called Starbucks Girl. If you Google Mudflap Junior Jones, a bunch of stuff comes up, and one of them is Reverb Nation. And the Starbucks girl recording is on there. It's a great studio recording. With the full band. Starbucks girl, you think that you're so cool. But you messed up my order. Now Starbucks girl, Think that you're so cool, but you messed up my order. Don't need no tape recorder. Prove that I was right and you were wrong when you messed up my order. Don't need no investigative reporter to prove that I was right and you were wrong when you messed up my order. Starbucks girl, think that you're so fine. Did every guy in line be trying to get your attention? Did I fail to mention you messed up my order? Now Starbucks girl, think that you're so fine. No one else in line is recognized that you got some kind of customer service disorder. Now Starbucks girl, think that you're so cool. But you messed up my order. Starbucks girl, I think I love you. That's the joke, ha huh? It gets hot in the lights. Um, I've done a lot of stuff on SoundCloud that I don't get to do with the band. But this is another one that's fun to play without. It's called the Dead Pet Song. Kitty cat, she's dead. Never gonna see her again. To listen to what she said. Brand new, she said. I miss my doggy dog, he's died. Drank in the freeze and his brain fried Should've listened to what he said A wolf, wolf in a box, he said That sweet little parakeet is dead Got a bathroom door slammed on its head Should have listened to what he said A chirpy chirp chirp tweet tweet is said I 
read the paper the other day, saw some guy I used to know, he died. I didn't like him though, he always lied. Never listened to a word he said. Hell, I'm kinda glad he's dead. a story about my pets. The last part I just made up is just a f I think my songs are funny, whatever. Some people agree, most people don't. This is a song that um, I put on my SoundCloud. Uh, Bella's Roast Beef is in, I don't want to like advocate for a business or whatever, but it's really good roast beef and this is called um, Beef House on the Way to Bella's and it's an old Robert Johnson y type blues riff that would be um, rolling and tumbling, a version of that. There's a beef house over yonder, right up over that there hill. There's a beef house over yonder, right up over that there hill. Well, not two, super three ways, think I might, I think I will. That's, uh, how about uh, David Ortiz hot sauce commercial? David Ortiz ain't just a man who swings the bat, he's got his own hot sauce. I tried it once on Yucky Way, the sausage guy had a great big bottle. Uh, I like making like 10 second songs, sometimes stretch them out to a minute and a half. Um, I don't know, uh, oh yeah, let's do that. Would two songs probably be good from here? This one's called um, Little Mad. Well, I'll, this one's called Easy Now. I'll try to not mess it up. A little instrumental thing. I like Soundgarden a lot, and I really like Chris Cornell uses a lot of strange chords and matches it with interesting lyrics. Um, miss him, but... Easy now. Uh, not a funny song. I don't really put a lot of lyrics in songs, but it's just self-explanatory. It's uh, just not a funny song. <laughs>
It's so easy now Lost control somehow Forfeited my power One day in the shower And it's entirely possible yet Highly unlikely that you would know my pet It's so easy now No sweat upon my brow Forfeited my power for another hour And it's entirely possible yet Highly unlikely that you would know my past I'm not really big on ending songs. Sorry. Wouldn't do good in Hollywood, I suppose. Thank you very much. See you later. No, sorry. So this is called uh, A Little Madness. My buddy Darren Hall likes to throw this side. I haven't been looking at the cameras. Hello, cameras. Uh, he put it in a TikTok video. I think it's the, my, the bass line for this. Uh, it's called Little Madness. It was on our second album that uh, we recorded above the tap in Haverhill with Jamie Pigeon in Adam Matei's studio it was cool. Um, but great memories. We did our Thanksgiving song, our Thanksgiving songs on the band camp. I'll say real quick before I'll just end the song. Mudflap Junior Jones, if you Google it, a Red Sox song that Toucher and Rich used to play is on their uh, Thanksgiving song, uh, Gobble Ga Gobble is actually more of a song that is like in my style. The Red Sox song was funny, but whatever. Um, and this song is on the band camp. We have Reverb Nation and band camp. If you're familiar with bands putting their music online and on SoundCloud, it's uh, Scratch Master Flap. My name is Matt Paquette. My drummer is Ryan Taylor. My bassist is Phil Smith. They, as we are, my flap, Junior Jones. I'm a big fan of the band. I wish we could play more. Uh, someday, hopefully, but this is called Little Madness. That's not in tune. What's the madness once in a while? Hell, I'm already seen now. Scratching my brain out with my nose. And I talk to pigeons. Little bit of sanity goes away. Paid a little penny ain't the same way. Had a little fit and I wound up back to looking for the answer in my driveway. The madness once in a while Hell, I'm already seen now Scratch my brain out with whatever I can get my hands on Thank you, Paulza, for having me. Local Rock Talk 978. Whoop. Thanks for watching.
watching Purple Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking.